Live from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank, the bank that specializes in understanding you. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio. And hello again, folks. It's John Ray on another edition of North Fulton Business Radio. We're coming to you, as we always do, from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank in Alpharetta. Folks, you are connected today more than ever, whether it's your friends, your family, or your life. Renaissance understands how you bank, offering the mobile banking services that you need. Renaissance also knows that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers, and that's why they have more than 190 convenient locations throughout the South ready to serve you. For more information, go to renaissancebank.com, Renaissance Bank, understanding you, member FDIC. Now I want to welcome Pat Lynch, Patrick Lynch. He is the president of CMP. Pat, welcome. Well, thank you, John, and uh, thanks for having me here. It's great to have you. Yeah. Tell us about you. Tell us about CMP. All right. Well, uh, my name's Pat Lynch. Uh, I'm the president of the Southeast Region for CMP. Uh, CMP, what we are, is a talent and transition firm that uh, covers the full talent life cycle. So we'll get into this uh, a little bit more, but we uh, look at it that we help organizations of all sizes predict fit, develop performance, and transform careers. Kind of a, a little bit about my story. Yeah. You know, just starting out. Uh, you know, I uh, came out of school as a marketing guy and uh, had 20 plus years in brand management, uh, doing everything from uh, soap, lotion, the world's, uh, the United States first carbonated uh, bath tablet. Uh, uh, really? Try, yeah, I'll forget that story. That was a crazy one. But uh, uh, steel safes, uh, furniture, uh, office paper, you name it. Uh, and, uh, 10 years ago, had a uh, career pivot. I uh, decided that, you know, corporate life, uh, I wanted to do something different and uh, took over a company called the Frontier Group. Hmm. And the Frontier Group was a career coaching and consulting firm uh, that helped people, uh, in, and especially I think about 2010, we were uh, essential in helping people find uh, jobs and get their careers back on track in a terrible economy. Sure. Then, uh, uh, you know, I was able to grow that firm and, and started looking at ways to move uh, move forward and, t- and try to scale it and uh, had an opportunity to merge my firm a year and a half ago with CMP. It's uh, headquartered in Dallas, Texas, mm. uh, and uh, I am um, now a partner with two absolutely great people, Mary Ann Pena Frodsham and Joe Frodsham. And uh, one nice distinction now with being part of CMP is that, you know, my practice is now involving over 50 consultants. Oh, wow. And we are the only minority female-owned uh, consulting business in the talent development space. Awesome. So it's uh, – so a lot of great uh, changes that uh, – that uh, took place, uh, you know, in, in terms of being part of CMP. A little bit more about uh, me uh, personally is that uh, I, I I think I have something that's an invisible tattoo on my forehead that I will uh, volunteer for any cause that kind of touches my heart. So, uh, yeah, now that you more. mentioned that, I see that <laughs> yeah. on your forehead there, Pat. Uh, yes, radio listeners. Yeah, good, yeah. Good, good thing we're <laughs> podcast-based here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, all joking aside, I've, you know, that's been something that really has uh, defined me in terms of just where I really get a great sense of joy. I'm a board member of a tremendous nonprofit called Special Pops Tennis. Uh, that's the uh, nation's largest adaptive needs tennis program. Uh, and so it's the sport of tennis that I love with the adaptive needs community that is near and dear to my heart. I've been a basketball coach with Special Olympics for, That's awesome. for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I've been a, a, a volunteer with a Year Up, which is a mentoring program for at-risk uh, youth that mm. uh, gets their careers on 
on track. And uh, it's just been a situation that it just a lot of uh, things personally that have uh, have uh, really touched me and and it made it important for me to be part of. Also, you know, I got, I'm uh, the president elect of Sherm Atlanta, which is. Now, the, tell, tell everybody what Sherm stands for if they Sherm, don't know, right? Sherm is the Society for Human Resource Management. Mm. And it's the uh, professional association to develop uh, the human re- uh, people and human resources. And uh, we have a, one of the biggest chapters in the country, over mm. 2,000 members. Wow. And uh, it's just uh, – it's something in terms of a give back and in terms of just being able to really promote the HR profession here in Atlanta. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, you, you know, you don't sound busy enough, Pat. Yeah. I, I don't uh, – <laughs> yeah. we, we need to work right, right. work to yeah. fill your calendar out a little yeah. bit. But uh, now let's get back. I, I want to hit uh, hit what you're doing with Sherm because that, that uh, sounds like quite a uh, great organization. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk a little more about CMP yeah. and what you do there. Now, you say you're a talent and transition firm. Now, mm-hmm. that that sounds like a fancy way of saying executive coaching yeah. or, or executive search, I mean, sorry, right. executive search. So, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and I, I understand that, and we're much more – in search. You're going to school me on that, I'm right? Say, yeah, okay, school me. Be prepared to be schooled. But, okay. no, but really, we, we look at ourselves across what we call full talent life cycle. Okay. And so first, consider that uh, the important part of any organization is predicting fit, finding the right people. Uh, and so the what we do in terms of helping companies find the best people is we have a battery of pre-hire assessments so that you can really start to assess uh, who is going to be the best match for your company, skill-wise, culture-wise, mm. competencies, uh, so that you take you start to take a scientific approach towards hiring. We marry that with high-definition search. So, yes, we do executive search. But I'll, I'll go further that it's not just executive search because we'll – uh, we'll do everything from field marketing managers for fast, uh, casual restaurants all the way up to COOs and CEOs. Okay. So, so we, our, our, uh, range is, uh, much greater. Uh, then, oh, you yeah. want to say something? Yeah. No, I was just going to, uh, let's dig into that just a yeah. bit. So, yeah. so, uh, do you work for the company that, that's doing the talent acquisition or are you working for the candidates? To, yeah, it's the uh, or, or both. organizations will hire us. Oh, okay, so you're working them. for the the employer, as yes. it were. So, um, so okay. a uh, a CHRO, uh, which is a chief human resource officer, VP of HR, uh, even a CEO, they'll they'll come and ask us to help them in terms of just okay, help help us in the selection process, find the best people. Now, I can imagine there's probably some companies out there that are thinking. Hey, I've got a, that's what I hire HR people to do for me internally. So right. why do I need to hire CMP to help them do that? Well, and it's no different than you have, we're a resource partner and mm. we have uh, expertise in the area that will then help the HR leaders just go that much further. Uh, you think about uh, anybody in accounting, do they have CPAs to help sign off on their uh, their returns. Uh, anybody in marketing will have a digital marketing agency to help them develop campaigns. So we are that resource partner for gotcha. the HR leader. Gotcha. And how how does uh, what do you see in testing in terms of testing for competencies for skills right. uh, in in terms of uh, the improvements that maybe you've seen there over your over your time in this industry. Uh, yeah. There's got to be a lot going on there. Uh, there are, and uh, testing is fascinating in that uh, you know one thing that that interviewing is so imprecise, and uh, and companies will try their best to do structured interviews, but people uh, will be and bringing in their bias. They'll they'll you know, all <laughs> of a sudden you'll be uh, you'll have a battery of different interviews. All at, all the people will be asking different questions, and right. now you're you're getting more uh, subjective opinion in terms of whether this candidate is going to work. 
you'll look at their resume, look at the background, and you'll think, okay, everything uh, seems to look like it, this person's going to be a good hire. What happens? Well, all of a sudden, 12 months go by, and, and you realize that this was a mistake. It mm. just doesn't work. What assessment does is it starts to, on an objective basis, really define what the skill set is of this candidate. So mm. these are validated assessments that they've been tested and proven that, that, that you know, some a person will over time consistently show these behaviors. And right. so what we do is bring a scientific approach to selection so that uh, you, what it is is it will dev- develop a range so that you'll look for candidates that are in, like, say, a 12 – like. One co- uh, one popular assessment we have is a leadership temperament index. Measures 12 core competencies on what makes a great leader. And so within those 12 competencies, there's a range that you want each candidate to fall into. And it's a 50-question uh, test. The, the candidate will run through it. And then we look and just see how those match up across those, the, you know, that the competency. And then we can give – in a, an objective opinion on whether this candidate's a good fit or not. Oh, wow. Um, uh, you know, I think I know the answer uh, you're going to give me to this mm-hmm. question, but um, uh, as I hear you talk and uh, talk about trying to eliminate bias and remove all the, all the um, uh, issues that are involved mm-hmm. in interviewing candidates right. successfully, right? Um, uh you're telling me it's a little more complex than, than like an article I read the other day. It says the one question you need to ask in every interview as if there's some magic question yeah. <laughs> that's involved in the interview process that all you need to do is ask that question, get an answer to it, and you'll know whether this is the right person or not. Yeah, and, you know, that article you read that, you know, the, that, uh, the, you know, the subject line is what they call clickbait. Right, Everybody, right. We're all you know, guilty. It's like, oh, wow, I want to learn that. Uh, right, that exactly. I want the magic of, recipe, right? I want right? the magic in it. So, yeah. uh, and and the, the truth is with um, uh, smart use of assessment tools uh, along with uh, what we do in, in search, which is that we start to screen and, and find the best people that you then will find your success rate of good hires is going to go up dramatically mm-hmm. because the cost of a bad hire, oh, my goodness, you know, the – wasted uh, training time that's the wasted right. productivity mm. uh, it's just too it, it's it's too big and in a fast-paced uh, economy like we're at right now where you know there's a, a high demand for really top talent make you know making a quick decision and hiring the wrong person can be really costly sure sure Time is money, and yeah, yeah you can't. It's <laughs> right? right. You can't. You can't really put a value on time in right. a way. Um, uh, it's so invaluable. Um, so, uh, folks, if you just joined us, we're speaking with Pat Lynch, and Pat is the president of the Southeastern Region. Yes, Did I get that right of yes. CMP. Um, now, Pat, I uh, we talked about the talent acquisition part of mm-hmm. what your firm does. Tell us about the other two elements. Sure, and the the second part is. Uh, is developing performance. So uh, predicting fit. So now you bring, you have all these great people that you bring into the organization. Now what we do is we, we have a variety of solutions to help grow those people, uh, to make them uh, as uh, productive, to get uh, them to develop at their peak. And what uh, the uh, biggest tool we have in this area is around, is around executive coaching. And so executive coaching is a, uh, a coach or a consultant will work with a candidate uh, who just say a director of marketing and, uh, and then will use an assessment tool to, again, look at, okay, what opportunity areas does this individual have in terms of growth, look at what they want to do professionally, and then put together a program in terms of helping them uh, achieve the most that they possibly can. Uh, so that's a, a big element of you know where we can help. A lot of times, executive coaching has the perception of being very expensive. Yes. And uh, what we have done is we've worked on a lot of different programs that we can 
make this much more affordable so that it can reach down to a lot more levels of the organization. Because, uh, yes, it's critical that your senior level team gets uh, opportunity for development, but the middle management are your future leaders. Right. And so what we do is we find all these affordable programs that they can connect them with a qualified coach so that they can get that opportunity to learn, grow, and develop. And what are what are some of the mistakes that you see in – talent development out there and yeah yeah i mean talk a little bit about that in well, general uh you know mis- there's uh mistakes i i don't know if necessarily mistakes but uh think uh, areas that we work with organizations uh on is beyond executive coaching one uh important uh, uh solution we provide is succession planning mm. and uh succession planning is always tricky because uh, it's uh, who's going to be your next, uh, the next in line, right? And uh, and there's where you want to uh, look at uh, separating opinion from fact, mm. you know, and that and and look at who would be the most qualified. Is it going to be an internal candidate? Is it going to be someone you need to go externally? Is what uh, what stage is the company in? Is it uh, something that is a turnaround? Is it in a growth mode? Is it something that you want it to be uh, in a stable environment. So then you want to match up the right leadership style with the right uh, proper stage for that organization. And we, and I'll give you a great example. We were brought in uh, with a hospital system and uh, it's out in the Midwest uh, flyover country, if you will. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, they had a, um, a CEO that wanted to retire and they wanted to put together a professional succession to, uh, in terms of how to find the next CEO, strong preference to find somebody internally, but they were also open to externals if needed. Uh, what had, uh, we came in, we, per, we put together a success profile of who the next CEO should be, you know, where's the organization going? What's the critical, needs that will be uh that will need to be met in the future and developed an assessment built around that uh around those needs and then we uh i we talked with the board they identified a couple of the internal candidates and we started that first with the internals and then uh, if we needed we would go externally fortunately for the, the hospital there was a strong internal candidate mm-hmm. that came out of that one thing, interesting thing then that came out of the, the whole success profiling was the opportunity for coaching ah. because, you know, the, the, we, the CEO was going to retire, but the individual had the requisite skill set, but there was areas for growth and development to mm-hmm. prepare that individual. So when he would onboard nine months later that he would hit the ground running. Uh, it was one that uh, ended up being a tremendous success story. The, uh, in, it was interesting because the profile, this, uh, per, the profile of, the, of the, the retiring CEO was he was dynamic, uh, very outgoing, mm-hmm. very per, uh, like a people person. Mm. Uh, the candidate that we selected actually was uh, more on the reserved side, a little quieter, but. He, when you really looked at who you know who he was for on an assessment level and then through a structured interview, you saw all the elements were there to make him a incredible servant leader. Mm. You know he 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 led you know everything he talked about was mission first. Right. Everything he talked about was about putting the needs of the patient before everything else, and all that bore out when he took over. And so it was a, it was one that was a great success story in showing just what, uh, in terms of assessment and coaching married together, what the results that you get. Sure. And then the interesting thing is, of course, the, the, the internal candidate that was there, now he has an open position and it was like, you know, the, on the back of a shampoo pot, bottle, rinse and repeat. So we came back and did another, uh, succession process to find, his replacement uh, found an internal candidate 
uh, worked on uh, the uh, an assessment, coaching, development for that individual. And uh, from this, then the uh, hospital started to see the need for more formalized succession planning and formalized coaching. So right. we were able to develop that across the, the whole system. And this type of approach is the way we work with a lot of um, – a lot of our client companies where they, they see one, we come in for one specific thing and then it, they'll see the opportunities to ha- help grow their organization in several other areas. And that's where, you know, where we are to help them out. Sure. Um, yeah. And, and what you're getting at, I think is so important because we don't, and this is true for yeah. me or anybody yeah. as a human being, we don't see our own biases, right? right? And, and, and we think we're being objective when by definition, because we're human beings, we have inherent biases, you know, about a lot of different things and, and, and judgments that, that yep. maybe don't reveal <laughs> ro- what the, the, uh, that, that obscure us in, in assessing other people. Exactly. And, uh, and so one benefit us as a resource partner for, uh, you know, for a CHRO is that we will bring that outside point of view. And, sure. Uh, and we, we, we don't interact with the, the people every day. So we can bring a level of objectivity that will help them, uh, in there. And, and yeah, uh, that, that bias is a, it's it's something that that all of us have to tackle. It's like you know I I all talk about blind spots all mm. the time, and it's and nothing can scare you more than not. It's what you don't know, right? And uh, and so that's where like coaching can can help because you you can see things that the individual can't. Right, right, makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I wanted, I don't want to give short shrift to the third area of your firm yeah. where you, where you're working with, with, uh, folks that are on their way out of a firm for yes. various reasons. Right. Yeah. So t- tell, tell everyone a little bit about that. Yeah. The, yeah. And the third area around transforming careers is that we, uh, work with our client companies in providing outplacement services. Mm-hmm. Uh, outplacement is, uh, where we will provide career transition services for employees who are laid off, uh, you know, um, restructured, terminated, however, however they're leaving the organization, that the um, the organization will uh, bring us in to help them uh, get their careers on track. Uh, what we do there is it, uh, have, we have uh, dedicated uh, career consultants, experts in the field that will work with uh, the candidates on all of the things to help make them successful, resumes, LinkedIn profiles, uh, you know, job search strategy in terms of how to find uh, the best uh, best opportunities. They're there, uh, getting them comfortable around networking, all the things that uh, they need to uh, to help. We we do it. It's a mix of uh, of in person consulting plus we have a very robust online career management portal. The candidates can do a lot of the work on their own. Mm. And so it, it's nice because then that's working 24 seven and, uh, in along with the time that they spend with our consultants. Uh, you know, sometimes it's like a, you know, people might see it as a gloomy part of the business, but, uh, I find it real uplifting because there's just so many lives, careers that uh, we help through, right. through, uh, career consulting because, uh, you know, there's so much uncertainty and, and people, you know, you know, people def- have their, um, identities so, uh, so intertwined with, uh, what they, you know, their job. And when that all gets turned upside down, it can be tough. And we're there to really help them, uh, and show and give them a guiding light so that we can really, uh, get them back on track, get their careers on, uh, you know, where they need to be and then, uh, move on from there. Um, yeah, and that's so important. I mean, you're, you're, you're providing, um, you're providing some humanity to people, right? I I mean, it it really is what we're talking about. Um, and, and really helping them get, get, um, their life turned in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And, and that's hard to do when you're under the stress of, 
Hey, I just got outsourced. I, you know, I've got, I've got a three month severance or whatever. Right. Right. Uh, and the, I've got a ticking time bomb here. Uh, I need to do something. Uh, yeah. that's a very difficult place to be in. It, it is. And, uh, and I'll tell you the work, uh, John is fascinating because you really end up, uh, learning, uh, you know, about careers across the whole spectrum you know, mm. in terms of we work with in, people in every conceivable industry, sure. uh, every conceivable profession. Uh, you see uh, pe- people that uh, end up going the entrepreneurial route. Uh, so we're, uh, you know, we become very familiar with franchising. We oh, yeah. Familiar with people want to go out and hang, you know, hang a shingle on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I remember one time, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with a, what we call a notification, which is where the, ind- the employee actually get the day they get the news, uh, that, uh, that, that there's a layoff. And this had been kind of known in the organization. And I was meeting with this, uh, this individual and, uh, we were talking, you know, and HR had talked to her about, here's your program. And, and so now I'm meeting to talk about what we can do for her. Mm. And, uh, she's crying. And, uh, it was, gosh, I, you know, and I've, I've, I know it's an emotional time, but she was crying tears of joy because this was an opportunity for her to do what she always wanted to do, mm. which was to go and become a nurse. And wow. so now she had the opportunity to go and pursue that. And, and those kind of stories stick with you. And, sure. uh, and, and it really does, uh, you know, help me, you know, kind of see that we're really doing a valuable service for the organizations and the individuals impacted through outplacement. That's awesome work. Uh, folks, we're talking with Pat Lynch, and he's the president of the Southeastern Region for CMP. Um, congratulations, by the way, on building a company and then selling it. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, that kudos for that. Yeah, well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but technically it wasn't a sale. We, okay. We, we well, just merged it. Yeah, but, yeah. but you successfully got to an exit, right? Oh yeah. Okay. And, there, there, there's a whole lot of businesses that don't ever get there. So congratulations exactly. well, on thank that. You. Right. Thanks. Um, so let's talk about Sherm. Yeah. Um, you're president elect. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about your organization, what it is you do, how you help your members. Sure. Sherm, uh, you know, just uh, repeat is the Society for Human Resource Management, and it's a professional organization to promote uh, hu- the human resource professional. So everything from an HR uh, department of one uh, to the chief human resource officer, chief people officer of an enterprise level uh, company. Uh, Sherm Atlanta is uh, 2,000 members uh, strong uh very vibrant uh, chapter that uh, really is built around uh, building a community uh, so that, you know, all the HR professionals have a place where they can go and uh, learn to then develop their uh, careers, uh, learn best practices, learn, you know, just from a lot of leaders in terms of uh, how, how things are done, get great ideas, uh, it's a way to uh, celebrate excellence. Uh, you know, we um, have a annual uh, HR Excellence Award that's with the Atlanta Business Chronicle to uh, recognize excellence. And that's like at a you know, very select level, but we will recognize excellence throughout the HR uh, profession uh, to really show, you know, that, you know, Sherman, uh, all the great things that Sherman Land is doing. And then uh, it's, uh, a place where uh, they uh, people can uh, grow it, uh, grow their careers, grow their networks, uh, and uh, a big part of uh, Sherm Atlanta is around the events that we produce. We we have an annual meeting called SOAR that uh, takes place on uh, March twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Uh, that's at the Cobb Galleria. That uh, will you know cover everything from HR tech to leadership to all of the different things that an HR professional needs to uh, be on top of their game. Uh, but then we uh, also have so many other uh, things that beyond just events that people can uh, 
that can can learn and connect. Uh, we have a mentoring program where rising leaders can be connected with experienced uh, uh, leaders so and, and kind of learn and grow. Uh, we have an accomplished leader exchange where senior leadership can all get together and benefit from peer-to-peer uh, discussions and talk best practices in a in a con- like kind of a confidential, non-competitive environment, so that uh, you can really benefit from the knowledge of others. Uh, it's uh, you know, I've been with Sherman Atlanta uh, ten years and uh, I've done a variety of roles uh, from being an ambassador for new members all the way up to where I am uh, today. And uh, anybody that's uh, out there in the listening audience that's an HR professional and really uh, is are looking to find uh, a way to build their community, build their profession, uh, yeah, please look up uh, yeah, shermatlanta.org and, uh, and find out more about membership or uh, – you can check me out on LinkedIn and write me a note, and I'll be glad to talk with you about it. Yeah, and we'll get your contact information yeah. out there in a second. But um, uh, so but but the the website is sherm s h r m atlanta dot org. Mm-hmm. Um, sounds like this is a must uh, join organization if you're an HR professional in the in the Metro Atlanta area. I, I believe so. You know, and it's. I knew you were going to say that yeah. since you're president elect. Something told me you would agree with yeah. me there, Pat. Yeah, yeah. It's like, hmm. well, but no, but it, it really is. A, it's such a, a great area to uh, to learn and grow, mm-hmm. and uh, you and and you can connect with uh, with uh, others. And and uh, I'll I'll tell you the other part that makes the Sherm Atlanta membership very valuable is if you can find the opportunity to volunteer. Because hmm. that's where uh, I ended up really getting such an appreciation for all of the things it does is by raising my hand and joining and do and volunteering in some capacity. You get to learn and meet people on a much deeper level, sure, and build those relationships that will last a lifetime. That's awesome. Um, that's a great commercial for volunteering generally. So thank you for that, Pat. May I still, I still have the invisible tattoo on my forehead. Yeah, I know it. I see it right there, folks. Uh, we'll take we'll we'll check out the show notes for pictures of Pat's tattoo yeah, on yeah. his forehead. But uh, no, seriously, this has been great, uh, mm-hmm. Pat. So glad to have you on the show. Thank you. But for those that would like more information on and uh, would like to be in touch with you mm-hmm. on. Uh, CMP and the services you offer, or or Sherm for that matter. Tell them how they can get in touch with you. All right. Uh, well, I'm I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, just uh, you know, come uh, check check me out. You know, it's Patrick Lynch, and you'll see the CMP uh, president of the Southeast Region. Uh, emails p a t l at careermp dot com. Our website is careermp dot com, and uh, co- you know, either way, just uh, come uh, come visit the the site, check us out. Uh, we do uh, a weekly blog that uh, that I write, and uh, you know, I'd love to have anybody in the listening audience as a subscriber. And I would also love to get a conversation started with anyone, and we can talk. Awesome, Pat Lynch, uh, with CMP and President Elect of Sherm. It's been great to have you here. Thank you, John. Folks, if you need help curing the headaches of administrative tasks, bookkeeping, marketing, presentations, uh, if you've got any of those problems, well, I've got an answer, and it's a good one because I use them myself, and I know personally. Uh, it's, it involves engaging a smart and reliable office angel. They're not a temp agency or a placement firm. Office Angels matches your business support needs with angels who have the talent and experience necessary to help you maintain and grow your business on an ongoing or as-needed basis. Your terms, your timeline, they lend a hand when needed and fly off when the job is done. Find out more at officeangels.us or call Chief Executive Angel, SES Cabido, at 770-442-921. Four six, and as I said, I work with Office Angels myself, and SE is off the chart awesome. That's a scientific term, uh, folks. If you need uh, uh, 
help with learning what's going on in the North Fulton business community, that's where we come in. Uh, you can listen to this show uh, every Tuesday morning. We have a regular weekly show at 1130 uh, that's live. Sometimes we have special shows throughout the week. But if you miss any of our live shows, you can find us on Apple Podcast, Google, Stitcher, TuneIn, Spotify, YouTube, um, your favorite podcast app. Mine's, mine happens to be Overcast. Uh, you can also find us online at NorthFultonBusinessRadio.com. We've got an archive there that's coming up on 200 shows. Um, I think this is maybe 191, something like that. But the point is we've got, uh, we cover the North Fulton business community like no one else. Um, follow us on social media, if you will, North Fulton BRX. We're there on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So check us out there as well. So for my guest, Pat Lynch, I'm John Ray. Join me next time here on North Fulton Business Radio. Renaissance Rewards Extra is the checking account that checks all the boxes. Roadside assistance? Check. Cell phone insurance? Check. More than 400,000 local shopping discounts? Check. Up to $25 per month in ATM refunds and a great rate? Check. All in an easy-to-use mobile app. To open an account or find out more about Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking, go to renaissancebank.com or visit us at any of our more than 190 locations throughout the South. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender.